find shaping a world that's in your mind. See for yourself and walk with me. So I uh, made some improvements. Some very, very, very good improvements. When, um, I'm sure you've seen before that spiders get stuck in the sides, and, and that causes a problem because they just store up there, and you miss, like, you know, every other spider, and it's really frustrating. So, it's really irritating to hear them, you know, screech the whole time. Also, it slows down the spawning rate, and yeah, that's probably not true, but I'm going to say it anyway. So, but, but I made a few changes to it, and you could see one of them right here in the middle here. Uh, that really, really, really improve uh, the whole spider gathering part. It pretty much, the changes I've made guarantee that every single spider that spawns in here, as long as it comes in this direction, will be caught up in the uh, in the waterfall or the water rise. <laughs> I don't know, and uh, go up the elevator and down the other side. And if they're not dead, they will be very weak. Or if they take no damage, I'll just stab with my sword. So let me show you the changes I made. So I'm gonna start storing them so they don't, uh, you know, they don't uh, go crazy. So let's head in here. This will be a bit dangerous. Oh no, not again! Dang it! That's the second time that's happened. Not a biggie. It was worth the change. Let's get that spider out of here. Up he goes. All right, let's put in some light. That should be enough to show you what's going on. So let me get rid of these buckets. Or these waters. Sources is... There we go. So it seems like a pretty complicated setup, doesn't it? It, uh... It's not too shabby. Not too complicated. So, um, first off, what I had before is I had a single block of water there and a single block of water up here. Well, what I did was, uh, sometimes a spider would get stuck right here it wouldn't move forward it would just stay here and get stuck and until until another one pushed it no no another one pushed it in um but uh i fixed that by taking this water block here and i put a sign there so it removed the water that was there and caused this one and removed the sign here and so basically this block here it's kind of hard to see but if I can jump up just one block here. Okay, I'm gonna get on that block. If I get right here, you can see the water is flowing oop, towards the center. Wow, it's a really strong current. So any spider that touches this block will be sucked right to this back side of the um, the elevator. So that's very, very efficient. That one is that's exactly what we need to forget the spiders back along here. Now, the other problem that I saw that was happening, even after making this change, was that spiders would come up to here, they would get, you know, pulled in by this, and then they would get stuck on this ledge here. So, I went ahead and added two water streams using pressure plates and two signs. It looks like it's flowing that way, but it's actually flowing the other way. It's actually flowing towards the center. The source block is right here. So, I'll take that. See, so it flows towards the middle. So, if I touch it, it will push me right into the middle, and since spiders are two blocks wide, uh, they will hit this stream, and they will begin to swim up all the way to the top. So uh, a few bad things about them being two blocks wide, it's harder to get you know an elevator like this to work. The good thing about them being two blocks wide is that uh, this works because they're two blocks wide here. Uh, they're just, or actually I'm sorry, it's one and a half blocks wide. They're just wide enough uh, that as soon as they are done touching this, uh, they will be like halfway in the middle of this thing so it's very very efficient oh also yeah that actually that's about it so we can swim up whoa whoa swim up here another thing that because they're a, a block and a half wide then uh uh this little gap here would be a problem for spiders and zombie uh spiders and skeletons but for spiders it's not a problem i could swim all the way to the top if i wanted to which i don't but I do want to grab a block of water from here. So if this seems a bit complicated because I'm kind of tough, kind of hard for me to navigate this while in the middle of it, but it 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 helps. These these two blocks here don't generate a downward flow. They just uh, they just sit there and you know pull the spiders up. Anyway, let's throw the lights. Let's pull out the lights and uh, get some more spiders. 
So that is how, that's the story of how I made the spawner 100% uh, efficient. Well, relatively. Some spiders still actually uh, fall to their deaths. So it's not 100% efficient, but it, it gets the job done, basically. So let's knock that spider back. He's going to die when he falls, so. Oh, well. And let's do that. Awesome. Anyway, so I just wanted to show that to you. I'm going to continue grinding. I haven't gone up many levels, so I have a while to go. So, I've been further experience grinding. I went up two whole levels. We Not a whole lot, but... Uh, ran upstairs, grabbed a ton of stuff, ton of stuff, and oh, and I did, I did some digging here uh, in the trenches. Uh, and if you look, it's uh, it's all uniform. Uh, it's got this weird uh, little L shape to it all the way across. And I figured that while I'm down here digging or you know harvesting spiders and trees, you know why not get something else that I like really, really, really need? Oh no, not water. Do not. I should have known that. But <laughs> why not get something that I actually do really need? Uh, wheat. So I decided that uh, I'm going to be planting some rows of wheat uh, all along the edges here. So I'll, I'll come in here and they should be well lit from these torches. Uh, it should be enough. Uh, they're not going to grow very fast, but they'll grow fast enough for me at least. Um, and... Uh, Hang on, I'm before, no, no, not doing that again, hang on. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, so I'll, I'll show you how I dig it out real quick, just uh, like this. Alright, so that's how you dig it. I, I dug it out. And I'm gonna go get these spiders. Just like that. You! Perish. And you! Die, die, die. I don't know why sometimes I don't take all, you know, all that. And lastly, you are not escaping me. Oh, there we go. Experience. That was what I really wanted. And how did you not get hurt? There we go. Just like that. Oh, wait. Let's put away the stuff. And get out uh, the plow. And I brought some seeds down here. And I have some dirt. I should have brought more. Do I have some more in here? Yes, I do. Good. Excellent. I didn't need to bring dirt. I had enough. Okay, so next, you just go through, and you put in water, uh, down here, this part here. This will be enough to, uh, to ensure that the crops will be well watered for a long time. Just place, them, place the water sources every other block and take from a previous source block. Just like that. Always have a good. Si oh, this one goes there. Excuse me if this is a bit confusing because I'm not exactly sure what's going on. All I know is that I'm filling it out with all source blocks. Yeah. Just like that. And then we fill it in, just like this. There we go. And plow it all. I should enchant a plow. That would be pretty cool. 
Here we go. And plant it all. Clicking as fast as I can. Let's hope we don't miss one. Nope. Doesn't look like I missed any. Awesome. It was easier than I thought. Oh, no. I forgot to fill this one up. I have a, a pool over here, though. Oh, I brought a cake down here to enjoy. Because I figured I would need some food. And I didn't want to uh, keep eating up my uh, raw beef. Or not my raw, my cooked beef. So I decided just to use that. Okay. All the way down to this end. Just like that. And there. So we'll fill them both up again. And down we go. Choo choo. And grab the last one. So, um, I decided to leave that open because I didn't want to put a block there to hinder the spiders. So, we're just going to leave that open. No biggie. They're not going to escape, and it shouldn't. Dang your tree! Shouldn't affect, uh, anything. It's not like I'm going to lose experience because once it's in there, it's. I'm not getting it anyway. There we go. Pow! And now, for the final stage, after I put stone blocks here, plant. There we go. Normally, if these plants were outside, they would have had one of them would have had, at least have grown up one block. But for some reason, they're not. And you know, I just realized why. Because they need a block of air above them because I was growing these at I was growing one of these just just one of these at the DFAF and it wouldn't grow at all I had to use bone meal on it to get it to sprout but it it stayed there for like three days and didn't grow an inch so I just realized they need to have at least one block of air above them so I think it makes sense you don't want no what just happened darn you gravel breaking everything I don't like you. Well, this one's going to do it too, isn't it? Drop, 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 drop. No one likes gravel. I just broke that one, dang it. No one likes gravel. No one likes gravel. Just to maintain the consistency. Alright, there we go, and we see some are already growing, slowly, slowly but surely. Let's put away the garbage we've collected, all the cobble and dirt that we picked up, well, that we, we took, and put away the gravel, and we'll put stuff away later. For now, we're murdering spiders and grinding experience. You haven't lost any hearts. And you have lost all your hearts, yes! Put away the string, and what else do we have? Yep, awesome. So we will let those plants die. <laughs> we will let these plants grow, and I will try to collect enough uh, gold, uh, gold, glass to um, be able to. Um, Put over the, the the crops that way um, we don't accidentally fall into them. Because my goal was to just have something to just rest your head upon and just as you just walked across, breaking them and picking them up. So put something there. I think it will end up being glass. Glass, sorry, and glass. This is going to release death upon us. So let's see. Four. Okay, here we go. There we go, it didn't release death. There wasn't even water behind it. Awesome. Let me get this tree. Here my tree. At last I found me some diamonds. Oh, I'm so happy I could ride up here.